All Chaos Space Marines are egomaniacs. They succumbed to the temptations of the Chaos Gods and chose a life of indulgence rather than an honorable existence at the sight of the Emperor of Mankind. Their betrayal showcases how low they are willing to plummet for their own personal gain. And although these traitors are all terrible and vile demigods, there are a few that take it a step further by committing acts that are so shameful and evil that their villainy marks them as the worst Chaos Space Marines in existence. The traitors on this list have committed some of the worst atrocities the Imperium has ever witnessed. They continue to cause harm to the universe, and they spread their malice by corrupting others. The first Chaos Space Marine we will take a look at is the Dark Apostle of the Word Bearer's Traitor Legion, Erebus. Born on the barren planet of Caucus, his envy of others pushed him to commit his first heinous act. The boy that would become Erebus murdered and stole the identity of the true Erebus, a highly respected and admired schoolmate that was a devout worshipper of the old gods of Calchas. But murdering and disposing of the body of this beloved individual wasn't enough. The evil Erebus actually took it a step further by marking his face and body with the same henna-like markings that made the true Erebus so recognizable. By masquerading as the pious youngling, the evil Erebus took on the prestige of his murdered victim. Not only was Erebus's identity false, but his worship of the old gods, which were in fact the Chaos Gods, was at a time just a sham. This and many other terrible actions were spurred on by a bitterness and discontent that Erebus would never escape, even when he fought alongside the Primarch Lorgar and was allowed to become a Chaos Space Marine, despite his old age. Erebus also held resentment for his Primarch, for he was seen as the Chosen One, even after he began worshipping the Chaos Gods. Erebus would spread the seed of his evil by instigating Lorgar's worship of the Emperor of Mankind. And when the Emperor punished Lorgar for his actions, it was Erebus that reintroduced the Chaos Gods into the mind of his Primarch. By this point, Erebus became the instrument of the ruinous powers, and his evil plots became instrumental in the corruption of Horus Lupercal. Without Erebus supplying the Anathema Blade to the planetary governor of Davin, and convincing the Luna Wolves to treat their Primarch in the Serpent Lodge, the entire Horus heresy would have never come to fruition. It can even be argued that the corroding state of the Imperium and the downfall of the Emperor was not orchestrated by the Primarchs or even the Chaos Gods, but a simple Chaos Space Marine, Erebus himself. To this day, the Dark Apostle continues to spread his evil throughout the galaxy. During the 13th Black Crusade, Erebus led an army of word bearers across the Cadian Sector, sacrificing millions of human captives to summon a vast army of demons to assault the Imperial forces across the Sector. His depravity found at the core of his soul, his corruption of those around him, and his continued assault on the Imperium of Man showcases how Erebus is one of, if not the worst, Chaos Space Marine in Imperial history. Another contender for the title of Worst Chaos Space Marine is Karn the Betrayer. A Terran-born Space Marine, Karn fought under the banner of the Warhounds until the Legion was given over to the Primarch Angron and it became the World Eater's Legion. Karn's story can actually be seen as a terrible tragedy. This proud warrior of the ancient Germanic tribes of Old Earth was an incredible fighter, but was forced to undergo the implantations of the Butcher's Nails, along with the rest of Angron's sons. This archaic augmentation and the eventual corruption of the God of Blood Corn drove the World Eaters mad, and when given the opportunity to receive salvation from the constant madness that plagued Karn by the Thousand Sons' Captain Callistan, Karn butchered the sorcerer that promised him aid. But this terrible act isn't what elevated Karn to the position of Worst Chaos Space Marine. The atrocity he is most known for is the slaughtering of not only a large force of Emperor's children, but his own warband of coronet berserkers. This horrible act of bloodshed and betrayal, known as the Battle of Scalathrax, echoes in the domain of the Chaos God Corn. Legions of bloodthirsty demons agonize in envy, while the Chaos Space Marine warbands are horrified when they hear about the savagery of Karn the Betrayer. His demented actions have fueled not only the bloodlust of the demon hordes of his master, but his pursuit of the Blood God's Eightfold Path inspired the worshippers of Korn into extreme acts of wickedness as his followers eagerly killed those that are the weakest, friend and foe alike. Only the most desperate or insane warrior fights alongside Karn. When not leaving trails of bloody gore throughout the galaxy, Karn has been seen working alongside Abaddon the Despoiler, collecting human heads with every swing of his demonic weapon, Gore Child. If you want to listen to more details on the Battle of Scalathrax or Karn's Madness, check out the videos linked in the description below. We've actually already created some. It is Karn's betrayal, the imitation that he inspires, and his continual butchering that makes him one of the worst Chaos Space Marines in the galaxy. The third contender for the worst Chaos Space Marine is the renegade apothecary Fabius Bile. 
This deranged demigod was sadistic even before he transformed into a space marine. Born to a noble family in the mountains of northern Europa on Terra, as a child, Fabius Bile was taught the dark art of flesh crafting by one of the family servants. His preference for biographs and organic augmentations, as opposed to bionics, continued even when he became an apothecary of the Emperor's Children Legion, and when he earned the title of Lieutenant Commander, his experimentations on the superhuman bodies of the Space Marines continued. Fabius Bio used everything he learned from attempting to find a cure for the blight that plagued the Emperor's Children Legion, and placed it towards forbidden genetic manipulation during the Horus Heresy. It was Bio, under the command of Fulgrim, that created the first clone of a Primarch, the deceased Ferris Manis, and would go on to commit the largest act of heresy by producing clones of every single Primarch, although only three ever made it to maturity. But it is the fact that Fabius Bio can create literal demigods through his experimentations that makes him such a dangerous Chaos Space Marine. He has created abominations like the New Men, the Vatborn, Thralls, and the Mindworms, all projects that have devastated humanity since Fabius Bio turned against the Imperium and his very own Primarch. Fabius Bio is also the key reason why most Chaos Space Marine warbands have the ability to extract corrupted gene seed and are able to produce new Chaos Space Marines. He sold everything he knew about this process to the Traitor Legions after the Great Scouring, but also ensured that he was at the center of every major genetic experimentation in the Eye of Terror. As a maniacal Chaos Lord, Bio has inspired hundreds of Dark Surgeons to tread the path of perfection and create warp-tainted monstrosities. It is safe to say that without Fabius Bio, Chaos Space Marine Warbands would have a much harder time maintaining slaves and keeping their ranks filled with new corrupted demigods. To make matters worse, Bio is only getting smarter, as his knowledge of genetic manipulation expands after every single battle. He is close to reproducing a corrupted Adeptus Custodis, and is attempting to twist the gene seed organs of the Primaris Space Marine. This Chaos Space Marine has managed to corrupt the sacred process of creating Primarchs, has been instrumental in the growth of Chaos Space Marine warbands, and continues to experiment with the uncorruptible warriors of not just the Imperium, but every race in the galaxy. This is why Fabius Bio is one of the worst Chaos Space Marines in existence. And finally we get to the last most vile Chaos Space Marine, the Chaos Sorcerer, Azek Ariman. Born on Terra to wealthy tribes of Old Earth, it was Azek Ariman and his brother, Ormust Ariman, that joined the Great Crusade as part of the Thousand Suns Legion. The Legion quickly developed psychic powers at a much larger scale than the rest of the Space Marines, and with this sorcerer's power, came a terrible affliction known as the Flesh Change, where a Battle Brother's body was mutated into a hideous beast resembling a Chaos Spawn. This genetic affliction was only cured when the Legion reunited with their Primarch, Magnus the Red, and using his powers, the Primarch was able to save some of the Legion from this flaw. Unfortunately, Ariman's brother did not survive the Flesh Change. It would be this terrible warp-mutating flaw that would cause Ariman to commit his most vile deed. When Magnus the Red made a deal with the Chaos God Zinch and transported the Primarch and his legion into the Immaterium, the Flesh Change began to devastate the ranks of the Thousand Suns. Ariman used the Book of Magnus to attempt to enact a spell similar to the one that saved the legion before. Calling it the Rubric of Ariman, it caused every warrior with no psychic abilities to become walking suits of mindless armor. While these Battle Brothers no longer suffered from the Flesh Change, they now were damned as Rubric Marines. This terrible act banished Ariman from Magnus' side and led him to the full worship of the Chaos God Zinch. He continued to scour the galaxy, raiding ancient museums, librariums, and places of learning to acquire as much sorcerous powers as he could, all the while murdering and spreading violence wherever he went. During the 13th Black Crusade, Ariman was summoned back to Magnus' side and fought the Space Wolves during the siege of the Fenris system. Is Ariman's original sin of damning his entire legion with the rubric of Ariman and his continued pursuit of knowledge at the cost of his own battle brothers' lives that made Ariman one of the worst Chaos Space Marines in existence. And that is my list of the top four worst Chaos Space Marines or the most evil Chaos Space Marines. What do you think of my list? Which one do you think is the worst? If you guys enjoyed this video, thank our patrons on Patreon. It is because of them that we can do this. Link in the description if you guys want to support us. And um, yeah, with that said, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. This was Gershwan with One Mind Syndicate signing out. <laughs>